Welcome back. Well, Earth Week continues on AM Extra, and this morning we're putting a spotlight on a local nonprofit which is putting students, parents, and educators on the path of sustainability. Eco School Network has partnered up with the retail store Backyard Bird Shop to raise funds for their effort. Joining us on the couch with more on the Earth Day Oregon partnership is Amy Higgs, Executive Director for the Eco School Network, and Amanda Jordan Brainerd, owner of the Backyard Bird Shop. Good morning to you both. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks for being here. We were just talking about birding and the in the commercial break. I and didn't know how much you knew about I, this I'm until getting, I'm five getting minutes into ago. It. It's so fun. So before we nerd out on all things birds, uh, Amy, first let's just talk a little bit about the Eco School Network and, and their mission. Yeah, absolutely. So Eco School Network helps kids connect with nature and practice sustainability every day at their school. Mm -hmm. So how this works is that teachers and parents will take our training and then work with a group of students to implement some kind of project of their own design to make their schools greener and healthier. Mm. So for example, they might plant a pollinator garden or start a walking school bus. They might start composting food in the cafeteria or plant a tiny forest on their school grounds. Um, just anything to really help the kids start to really learn to love the earth and, and develop a sense of confidence that they can make a difference. That's really cool. Yeah. And Amina, why did this make sense from, from your perspective? Why partner up with this? Well, as a retail store, we're not set up to do the advocacy work that nonprofits like EcoSchool are. Mm -hmm. And but obviously as as a business that that kind of prides ourselves in connecting people with nature and kind of helping get that spark going, we really want to support those types of organizations. Mm -hmm. And so when Amy reached out about us partnering together with them for Earth Day Oregon, it just made the most sense in the world. Yeah. You know, starting with people while they're young and getting them excited. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the big ones that kind of got me excited was their um, their outdoor school options, their outdoor classroom options. Mm -hmm. That was just as a parent and as someone who just cares about birds and connecting with nature. I Checks really multiple exciting. boxes there. Mm -hmm. yeah. All the boxes. Exactly. That's great. And That's they awesome. do, I think there is something too different about really being able to make it hyper local, right? Mm -hmm. Like I love learning about nature all over the world, but especially when you can take uh, kids outside and say, this is in your own backyard. This mm, is what's exactly. happening all around you. Mm -hmm. Do you notice that kind of catching people's interest in a different way? A hundred percent. The more tangible it is, the more real it feels to the kids. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So during the pandemic, Amanda was explaining, uh, we really leaned into outdoor learning as a way to reopen schools safely during the pandemic. Yeah. And so um, one of the ways that, that schools did that was creating these outdoor classrooms kits, which was just sort of a wagon full of sit pads and um, clipboards that teachers would pull outside to help kids learn um, just in the in the fresh air. And that's really caught on and yeah. a lot of schools have continued that. That's, hmm. that's really great. Well, and of course, let's talk about the birds. Yeah. Uh, because birds, of course, a big benefactor or a big benefiter, I should say, from this. And uh, this is apparently a wheelhouse that I had no idea you were you I, had. I'm I didn't just, know. I'm just getting into it. I think it's very cool, but it's interesting that you're not alone. Birding is becoming more of a trend mm -hmm. with some younger audiences. Absolutely, it's not something just for older folks. Mm -hmm. It's something that people, young people, are going skiing and birding. Mm -hmm. They're going kayaking, and birding. Huh. They're having. Um, they're taking their children on bird walks. Everybody is yeah. into birding, and the definitely the pandemic was a huge kind of benefit. Um, with the birding community because yeah. people were putting putting feeders outside their windows. All of a sudden they're working from home on Zoom. Yeah. And we know our mental health really um, is improved by being able to be outside and connecting with nature and Absolutely. birds are a huge piece of mm -hmm. it. You were sharing about bird songs and, right? and, and listening to them. I downloaded a new just, app. It, I'm trying to learn. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Just, it's fabulous. I hang out with my hummingbird friends at my feeder. Yeah. 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 On the weekends, I, I have my coffee, they have their uh, their nectar. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's so go. fun to watch. Well, and, and Amy, I think to tie this back to sustainability and conservation, mm -hmm. birds are such a keystone species mm -hmm. when we look at things like climate change and, and habitat restoration. Mm -hmm. It's interesting interesting to learn more and kind of have that maybe be the tip of the iceberg as you learn a little more about the world around you. Exactly. Absolutely. And you know, that's one of the things that's happening all the time in our schools. And for Earth Day, for example, there's so many different ways that our schools are celebrating Earth Day, whether it's something simple like getting kids outside to write poetry about nature 
or planning a big um, festival or an assembly about Earth Day, um, doing a walk and bike challenge all month long or a mm -hmm. service project. Mm -hmm. And in Eco School Network, what we're seeing is that the common thread is that all these schools are trying to get kids to really develop this a, a sense of appreciation and gratitude for our, our, our home planet, the yeah. only one we've got, right? Yeah. 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 And they're elevating these stories of environmental leadership that are happening every day in our schools all around the Portland metro area. It's very cool. And they're also helping kind of turn Earth Day into every day, just mm. using it as a spark to ignite that commitment to sure. keep at it all year long. That's a really good point. I mean, we, we talk about it during this this week, this day, this month, and, mm -hmm. and for good reason, but it is. It's it's year round, right? You know, the problem doesn't go away after April, right. you know, so to, to keep that in mind makes a lot of sense. Yeah, exactly. well, thank you, Amy and Amanda, for joining us, and happy Earth Day. Thank yeah. you so yeah. much for having us. Oh, happy of course. Earth Day. And if you want to learn more about sustainability efforts with EcoSchool Network, you can check out ecoschoolnetwork.org. Head to back backyardbirdshop.com as well if you want to see some of their products get into birding with me and you can check out earthdayor.org to learn more about all the partners